So welcome to the last episode of this equatorial platform series. In this video, I am going to show you how I made an attempt to measure the accuracy of my equatorial platform. As I have used many hand tools while fabricating that, I was always a bit skeptical about my final accuracy of my equatorial platform. We will be looking at mainly three types of error. First one is the latitude of the equatorial platform. How much angle did we actually achieve? Achieve. Number two is the concentricity error in the RA axis in terms of arc minutes or arc seconds. The number three is the error in the tracking due to linear screw drive. So let's first look at the setup I had made to do this measurement. So let's first look at the setup I had made to do certain measurements that will be used for the calculation. In this step, we will put a tripod on top of our equatorial platform. Fire a laser onto the wall, preferably at a distance of 2 meter or greater. Greater the distance, more accurate measurements we will have. We will first ensure the floor we are at is at a level. And we will also ensure the same level is used for leveling the equatorial platform so that our platform is exactly parallel to the floor. Then we will fire the laser, mark the points where the laser is pointing. Next, we will move the platform by a known distance, ensuring that it doesn't rotate along the vertical plane. And finally, we will fire the laser again and do the markings, take the measurements that are needed for the calculation. So I started by fixing two A2 size paper onto the door that my pointer was, laser pointer was pointing at, then measured the distance between the wall and the platform, firing the laser, marking the points at different RA axis rotations, marking the center point of the arc. You can see the concentricity error in the RA axis here. Moving the platform by one tile distance for ease of reference, repeating all the process all over again. Here I got 1.6 arc minutes of RA axis concentricity error in my equatorial platform, which means there is no way I can use this for long exposure astrophotography. For visual, it is absolutely perfectly fine. Now using simple trigonometry, we will calculate the latitude of my equatorial platform. As you can see, I had designed my old equatorial platform for 24.05 degree north. However, the actual measurement that we have got is 25.17 degree. Hence, the delta of 1.1 degree needs to be compensated while leveling the equatorial platform. However, we cannot do anything about the RA concentricity error and only making a new one with high precision CNC milled metal parts probably would give accuracy in arc seconds. Now for the number three type of error, I have drawn lines from the point of intersection between the vertical plane from my screw drive with the RA axis and a equidistance point which is equal to the pitch of the drive shaft and then calculated the angle. You can do this by simple trigonometry as well on a simple excel spreadsheet. Now once I did the calculation, I got this error excursions for my tracking due to the screw drive mechanism. Note, this is not a problem for visual at all. However, if I want to do a 10 second or 20 second long exposure for astrophotography, it is not possible in the red zone, which is marked here. However, if I use an Arduino controller to change the drive speed with the change in the angle, which is the, the PWM signal will not be linear throughout the time, but it will be uh, a very it will be a function of the angle then we can probably bring this error down but that is another project for some other time i will share the link of the spreadsheet i had used in this video description and in case you would like to refer them you can find the link in the video description but note that you need to customize the spreadsheet as per your design and your constraints i would also like to 
make a special note one of the viewers mentioned in the earlier videos from the series about existence of a excel spreadsheet named eq platform underscore calculation 2012.xls so i opened i searched for that spreadsheet i went through the spreadsheet and seems to be doing a good job in terms of giving the measurements that are needed for cutting the parts for making your platform however i did not had a chance to verify that myself i would love to hear from all of you if you would have used this spreadsheet or thinking of using this spreadsheet for designing your equatorial platform please do give a feedback about that with that we come towards the end of this video as well as this video series in case you would like me to make a similar video on vns type equatorial platform please leave a comment below i hope you like this series if you are not a subscriber to my channel i request you to please hit that subscribe button click the bell icon like share comment and clear skies bye bye